going to do a dish of fried chickpeas with spinach, chorizo, and sherry, which is undoubtedly traditional in Spain somewhere, but I don't know where. There are many things to like about this. One is that you cook the chickpeas long enough so that they actually get crisp. So you want to start with, well, you want to start with olive oil, of course. Let's say a quarter cup here. You want to start with chickpeas that are really, really dry. Better if you cook them yourself, but if you use canned, that's fine too. In any case, drain them well, and then even dry them between paper towels or spin them in a salad spinner. Some Spanish chorizo, that's going to go in and cook along with the chickpeas. So you're going to get this lovely red pimenton flavored chickpea mixture. And then later we'll put in spinach and sherry. Okay, the oil's hot. You can tell because it's kind of thin. About two cups of chickpeas. It's going to take 15 minutes or so. We'll put the chorizo in at the same time. That's uh, four ounces or so of chorizo, which is uh, about one stick like that. One layer for ideal browning. Don't stir much. 10 or 15 minutes, the chickpeas are going to become golden and crispy, as you'll see. So, is this the most beautiful thing you ever saw? 15 minutes. You, you know, I don't know if you can hear how crisp those chickpeas are. That lovely red chorizo fat. Mm. So remember, adequate fat, don't stir too much because you really want them to brown. Stir occasionally, but not constantly. And... Uh, you get that nice, these are really fried chickpeas. I mean, they're fried chickpeas. A little more oil if you need it. I don't think we do here. And then say half a pound of spinach, or could be 10 ounces, and in fact, could be a pound. Spinach has a lot of moisture. It'll cook down by itself. But for flavor and a little bit of additional liquid, some sherry, not fino, which is the really dry stuff, but amontillado is the right, the right kind here, or oloroso. You could use a little more sherry. That was a quarter cup. You could use, say, a half cup. Cook it down longer, slower. Now we're going to stir in chickpeas and chorizo, top with some breadcrumbs, run it under the broiler. We're done. Two cups of breadcrumbs here. We'll see if I use it all. These are fresh breadcrumbs, which in every case are the best. I mean, there's almost always stale bread hanging around, right? So let's say one cup of breadcrumbs and a drizzle of olive oil. If you wanted to mix some garlic in with those breadcrumbs, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either. And we're gonna go under the broiler with this. You may ask me, how long do I run it under the broiler for? And I will answer you until it looks like this. Because every broiler is different. This was four minutes. Well, really, maybe it was five minutes. I don't know. I was watching. That's nice. So the chickpeas are still crisp. The chorizo sure is too, the breadcrumbs are now, and got this nice bed of spinach. From somewhere in Spain, fried chickpeas, spinach, chorizo. I'm sure we'll get email. Mark, you didn't know where that was from? 